Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mikhail Jessen from So So Good Coffee Company. And today we'll be making a couple of different mocktails using beautiful ice cubes. Can you call these cubes? Beautiful ice from Scotsman's Ice. So this is the gourmet ice cube. So clear ice, slow melting. And if you mix this with drinks, um, it doesn't dilute the drink as much as your regular ice. It looks beautiful when you, when you pour drinks onto it. It has that sort of clarity and then it makes your drinks look more premium. So we're going to use that and then um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Cool. So we're going to start with our first drink. We're going to start with a garnish that we're going to put. We're going to torch this and then basically making it smoky to improve the aroma of the drink. So we're going to torch the rosemary. Along with the wood underneath it. To create this smoky aroma and flavor. Cool. And then while waiting for that, we're going to build our drink. We're going to start with... Lychee syrup. I'm gonna use 30 ml of this. And then we're going to top this with basically a pineapple juice. So we put the off cut of pineapples and skin, put water, and then we sous vide it for a couple of hours at 60 degrees Celsius. And what you have is this clear liquid where it smells and tastes like a pineapple. So quite a good use of offcuts and skin from pineapple that you use for juice or for uh, whatever other recipes that you're making. Um, we're going to use 60 ml of this. And then we're going to use 10 ml of lemon juice. And then we're going to use a saline solution. So this one's quite concentrated. We use one part Himalayan pink salt and two parts water. So uh, three drops here would be a little bit stronger than your usual saline solution. Uh, if you haven't used saline solution before, it's basically used to balance off your flavors. So it highlights acidity, it makes drink brighter, it, it makes bitterness a little bit less bitter if you have bitterness or bitter component in your drink. So pretty good for drink making. All right, we're going to dilute this with some ice. To get the flavor that we want. All right, that's pretty good. And open this. Pour the drink. We're gonna top this with some ice. And we're going to garnish this with some dried pineapple, which I forgot. All right, so dried pineapple is on top of it to garnish. And that's basically it. So that's the first drink. Beautiful, clear ice blocks. Uh, it's quite large as well, so it doesn't melt as quickly. And because of the shape of it and the clarity of water that they use, 
it doesn't melt as quickly, which means it doesn't dilute your drink um, too much. So that's the first one. And then we're going to make a coffee base for our second drink. So this one we're going to build directly in our glass. So get a glass like that and then get some more ice. I'm going to swap this with this bad boy. So get a few ice blocks. And then we're gonna grab a tea blend. So this tea blend is made using a bunch of random different teas that we always make. So this particular one has green tea, uh, oolong tea, and also jasmine. So it's quite floral uh, and it's quite light. It's not too strong in flavor. So we're gonna use 100 ml of this. And then we're going to use two different syrup flavors and they're both stone fruits. So the first one is apricot and then the second one is white peach. You can substitute this with any of the stone fruit uh, syrups that you have or you like. I just happen to like apricot and white peach. So 15 ml of apricot. And then 15 ml of our white peach. And then we're gonna use our saline solution again. So just one drop this time. This is going to help with highlighting that stone fruit sweetness and also reducing the bitterness from our coffee later. So give that a bit of a stir. Make sure all the flavors are mixed well. This good. And then we're going to use 45 ml of a filter coffee. So I pre-made this, basically sort of chill it. And you just pour it on top of your eyes for that beautiful separation of color. Cool. So that's done. And then we want to top this up with a garnish of orange, or if you have dried stone fruits like peach, Apricot, you can put it as well. There you go. Two simple mocktails that you can make with Scotsman's eyes.